Hello, we are here for one more lesson of this 4MCAD training course and the topic for today will be about geometric tolerances. Uh, we've seen uh, uh, in one of the past lessons uh, how to apply tolerances to uh, a normal dimension, linear di dimension or angular, um, but we have one more functionality which is the possibility to add geometric tolerances and these have a very specific setting. Um, I will teach you how to apply and how to set the definitions for this kind of tolerances but there is a lot of information to understand the symbology that you should look for uh, over a specialized uh, book or, or, or the internet where you can find a lot of information about that symbology. So basically Geometric tolerances indicate uh, the maximum allowable variations in the geometry. And uh, this software draws these geometric tolerances using a feature control frame, which you are going to see in, in a couple of moments. Uh, basically, it's a rectangle. It's divided in several components, uh, at least two components. Um, and the first one uh, in indicates uh, the geometric characteristic, it's a symbol. Uh, the second contains the value and you can have more, more uh, symbology added to these, uh, to these tolerances. Uh, the value can be preceded by uh, diameter and it can have also after another symbol that is called the material condition. Uh, which is applied to features that can vary in terms of size. So, uh, we've seen uh, previously uh, in the format uh, dimension style, then you, you had one, of, uh, one tab that show you the tolerances, so you can uh, say wh 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 which method are you going to apply to uh, a regular dimension. But today it's a little different because uh, you just need to come to this dimension menu, then uh, tolerance, you get this uh, dialog box and uh, you can, uh, tolerance one, you can do this uh, symbology here. So you can choose one symbol. All of these symbols have some meaning, for example. Then you can add a diameter or not, okay? You can insert a dimension and you can put a material condition which also have some special meaning for each one of the letters and uh, you have a couple more uh, informations that you can add or not so you can add a, a projected zone and you can put uh, uh, an identifier a datum uh, these datum uh, are usually uh, used as a reference tolerance uh, to, f to one up to three uh, perpendicular planes uh, from which a, a measurement is made. Uh, but it can indicate also uh, a point or an axis. So I can say, for example, plan A and just say OK. And I get this kind of uh, uh, display in my tolerance. So to apply this is very easy, but uh, the meaning of all this symbology uh, you need to look for um, each symbol uh, means so that you can apply it correctly in your work. 